Thanks to Atlas VPN for sponsoring this episode. It's Sunday again, and against probably all of our better judgment, we're here together looking at sales. First thing to say is that we are giving away five lots of £50 eShop vouchers, or your regional equivalent. How do you enter? Well, you have to buy an eShop voucher, saving 10% using code SWITCHUP over at switchup.gg. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Marketing 101. There's an ulterior motive in there, but you know, you still save 10%. We get a tiny little kickback, and we get to give away 250 quid, and we will be doing another OLED giveaway so keep your eyes peeled for that. This episode we're going to do something a bit different but I'm also going to throw in a couple of physical games which are on ludicrously good sales because that seems to make sense. What's on sale? Well let's find out. First up then and it's a physical and it's the thumbnail most likely. It's Monster Hunter Rise. This is currently half price over at Argos here in the UK, or you can get it 44% off on Amazon. In the US, the same deal applies 44% over at GameStop or Walmart. Australia, you're looking at Amazon for a slight discount, and anyone in Europe, you're also going to go to Amazon. Monster Hunter Rise easily made our best games of the year list. It just gets better the more you play. It's a game about skill, and it can be played entirely on your own. Don't be put off by the idea that potentially you need to have a group of friends because you don't. <laughs> I feel like like someone's eyes, <laughs> someone's eyes just perked up. <laughs> But no, you really don't. It, it does benefit if you do, but you don't need it. As the title suggests, this series is all about targeting, tracking, and then killing certain monsters. Now, in this version, they kind of remove some of the tracking elements. You don't have to paint all the creatures anymore. You know exactly where they are. And another nice thing is it's one large open map. You don't have to transition between different areas to try and track them down and hunt them. It's a good time to jump on the Monster Hunter bandwagon. One we haven't j quite got the new DLC yet. And two, there's just so many people still playing. As far as gameplay goes though, you're looking at easily over 100 hours. And that's if you only touched one of the many weapons. If you want to master and learn everything, I reckon you could easily do a thousand hours in this game and still have content to go. Absolutely excellent game. If you've not got VPN and you've taken up this offer, let us know in a comment. We'll be having a look through and giving away a couple of game codes to say thanks. It's no exaggeration to say we've had at least five emails a day with different phishing schemes, people trying to find our location, and everything in between. If you do anything online and you haven't got a VPN, then you have a lot more faith in companies and your security than I do. I've been using Atlas VPN since our last sponsorship deal. A VPN means virtual private network, and it allows you to mask your traffic when online. By doing this, you can hide your information, hide your location, keep your IP address safe, and access different video services from other countries. If you're interested through SwitchUp, you can get the best value on the market for any VPN. It's $1.39 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can then apply this to unlimited devices, stop any annoying ads or malware, and save some cash by shopping in different regions at their local prices. If you're a SwitchUp subscriber, you can get a huge discount at the moment, which is their three-year subscription for just $1.39 a month. Another one that's on a massive sale and another one that was on our best games of the year list is Bravely Default 2. At the moment at Argos it's half price and over in America you're going to save about 33%. Glenn recently completed this one and absolutely loved it, like loved it. There are so many nuanced systems in terms of how you use that Brave or Default mechanic and then how you create new classes to tackle certain bosses. There's a lot more to it than meets the eye and it took him around about 60 to 65 hours to finish it and he came away thoroughly impressed and absolutely raving about his experience. The adventure takes place through five different kingdoms and as with every RPG since the dawn of time, you're trying to return crystals or get crystals. In this case, you are returning crystals to their rightful home. Don't let that detract you though. There's still a good bit of characterization in here, some nice little nemesis to fight, and if you're after an RPG that uses a lot more strategy, then this might be a good option for you. Gameplay-wise, as I say, it took him about 65 hours to finish. At a push, you could rush it at about 40 to 50, and if you want to do absolutely everything, you're getting closer to 100 hours. Then we've got Dragon Ball Fighters Ultimate Edition. Here in the UK, it's 85% off. That takes it down to £12.49. This one's only available for a couple more days, and the Ultimate Edition includes the base game, the Fighters Pass, which is essentially eight new characters, the anime music pack, and the commentator voice pack. These are excellent fighting games, very well crafted. It really does feel like you're fighting in the anime. And there are a couple of cool mechanics in there. There's a, there's a story mode, there are online matches, and there's also a three versus three tag battle. Now, I never really watched my 
much Dragon Ball Z or Z when I was a kid, but even so, it's still been fun to battle my son on this one and it carries a 9.7 gigabyte download. Now, if you're in the US, you're gonna to wanna to look at the different version, that being the Fighters Edition, which is 84% off, taking it down to $15.19. Enjoy high-paced battles with your opponent. Unleash powerful combos with just a few buttons. One that always needs more attention is Darkwood. This is a terrifying game, absolutely horrible. It comes from Crunching Koalas and was developed by Acid Wizard. And it's a different take on the survival horror genre. You can craft different weapons, prepare traps, fortify your hideouts, but it's when you venture out into that dark, dingy wasteland that it becomes, oh, it's just awful. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really selling this, am I? There's a day-night cycle here, and you gradually build up and improve your character by injecting certain substances straight into their bloodstream. It will take you a bit of time to get into, and potentially you might want to watch a guide over on YouTube because it's it's very old school in the way it just it just ditches you at the start and it's like see you later and walks off closes the door and you're all alone the world of dark world definitely is not for the faint-hearted the main storyline could take you about 15 to 20 hours and completionists you're going to spend up to 50 doing everything 60 percent off that's five pound 19 and that goes on until february the second back when the switch first came out this was one of the greatest indies available, and it's still excellent. It's Subsurface Circular. It released on March the 1st of 2018, and it just got rave reviews. It's half price at the moment, taking it to £2.39. And the sequel is also half price. Personally, I'd pick them both up. The second one's not quite as... It's good. It's as good in terms of writing, but it's not quite as fresh. I think when this one first came out, it was just incredible. This is a very small experience. You're looking at about two to three hours, and you're essentially a detective, and you're investigating a series of disappearances and you do that through questioning different um, cybernetic organisms. It's got a very adult tone to it, this one. If you like things like Blade Runner, and, and in terms of the soundtrack as well, and just the general art direction, it's a good one that you don't even have to add to the backlog. Literally, sit down, two or three hours later, you've done it, you've got this entire experience, and I think it's one you'll remember as well. A very good game. Now, this one goes on sale until January the 28th, and the same goes for the sequel. It's 551 megs to download, and yeah, bit of a bargain. This is EU only this one, and it's rad. It was developed by Double Fine Productions, the studio created from many of the legends that created some of my favorite adventure games from back in the day, point and clicks. This is completely different from anything they did before. This is a 3D roguelite, but with a very unusual mutation mechanic. You can get different mutations that will essentially completely change your physical abilities. So you might get like crab legs or the ability to breathe fire. It has a very neon 80s feel to it, this. You'll have your area as well that you go back to gradually improving things and then heading out on more runs you know how these roguelites go and if you're not completely saturated with them this is a decent option at 75% off taking it down to three pounds 99 11-Bit Studios have got a very big sale on in the US regions, and at the moment, well, you can pick up any of their games. You've got things like Moonlighter, which are just stunning. I love that game. But this time, let's mention that the Children of Mortar complete, uh, complete Edition sorry, is currently half price, taking it down to $13.49. With Children of Mortar, you've got to think old-school Diablo, except you're directly controlling the characters. So it's a dungeon crawler. There are, a, there are a couple of roguelite elements in there. You've got a persistent home base where you're adding different family members to it and improving things things and then heading back out but it, it's got a lot more persistence than a lot of roguelite titles that we have on switch there's also a new game plus mode there are different difficulty settings but what sets this apart are the amount of free dlcs that have been released since launch we did a video on the ancient spirits dlc which introduces a new character there's the paws and claws dlc where they gave all of the proceeds of that to an animal shelter charity you can play through the entire thing in local co-op it's 2.45 gigs and that sale goes on until february the 7th Wounded. When you think family, 
you realize how it I should. briefly mentioned Doraemon's story of seasons the other day at the end of my sales video. I think it deserves its own spot here. This is a massive deal, 80% off at the moment, taking it down to £8.99, and it's available in the EU regions. If you've not watched the Doraemon series, the uh, the animes, you can watch a few of them on, um, yes. on Netflix, and they are absolutely bizarre. But they combine some of that with a farming sim, so you've got the story of seasons, core gameplay, with some of your characters from Doraemon in here, and it works really well. There's something about this type of game which I find incredibly relaxing, which is weird really because you're literally working. <laughs> this is by far the lowest it's ever been on sale. This only goes on until 25th of January, 80% off like I say, and you're looking at about 50 to 250 hours of gameplay depending on how many uh, carrots you plant. I think Rise Race the Future has worked its way up to be probably the top one or two racing games on Switch. They added in multiplayer mode, which wasn't there at launch. It now runs at 60 FPS, which wasn't there at launch. There are 64 different races. You can hover, so your vehicle can turn from a normal car into essentially the DeLorean. And there are four different worlds, each with their own, own tracks. There are three different tracks in each, and 16 combinations per world. So that's pretty damn impressive. It's a game that's just had a lot of work since it launched, and it launched in a decent state, don't get me wrong but hats off to VD Dev for actually spending more time with the game after launch to improve it rather than most devs who spend more time after launch to get it working. 2.6 gigs and that sale goes on until January the 31st, it's 44% off. Apologies to my fellow countrymen. The hidden gem this week is only available in the American regions, but do remember how easy it is to set up multiple accounts. Anyone that hasn't got like more than one region on their Switch right now, I don't really understand that now because you can still do all your saves onto one Nintendo Online account. You can still use the same account to play all the games. It is a bit of a pain in the ass if you have a Switch Switches and you have to put those accounts back on, but man, it's so worth it when it comes to saving money. Now the hidden gem, once I've got all that waffle out of the way this week, is the amazing American Circus. We did an advert for this one. It comes from Clubator Games and Juggler Games and it's a really interesting take on the deck building strategic combat because you're not actually fighting here. Well you kind of are. You're fighting the um, apathy of the audience. You're trying to impress them. You're trying to make their experience better by hopefully putting on a good show. There are 200 different cards but there are 32 different types of audience. So rather than enemies it's audience. I reckon they could make this on like any social media platform couldn't they? You could definitely do it on YouTube. YouTube, like the 10 different types of commenters. There's the guy that's just waiting to say something negative. Sorry if you're typing out right as we speak, Mr. Negative Man. There are the ones that are always happy, and then there are those that don't ever comment. So there you go. We could create a game right there. But this one has those different 32 audience members that you battle against. There are 90 different cities that you can take your circus, and there are 21 story missions. It's a very cool concept. I don't think they hit the nail quite on the head here. Like some of it feels a bit slow and a tiny bit clunky, but there are other elements that are actually really engaging. I think it's a good starting point for something else and certainly at half price it's one to if you like this genre work your way through 1.6 gigs and as i say that's on sale until february the 7th which takes me on to my favorite segment each week and that is games that you should avoid they make that little calculator app on switch look like game of the year material we have that Popeye game. This is essentially an insult, isn't it? It's an insult. It's a slap in the face to whoever worked on Popeye back in the day. It's an insult to any new fans. And if a young person gets this, they're going to think, man, Popeye was rubbish. Look at him. Look how janky he is. Why have my parents, carers or guardians done this to me? This is damaging. So please do not pick up Popeye on sale, man. And that's it for this week. Remember, five lots of £50 eShop cards being given away from us to people that have made purchases on Switch up.gg using code switch up to save 10% so you could save some money on these games here and you could enter yourself in that competition and leave your comments down below just maybe say hello or let us know what you've been playing thanks again to atlas vpn for sponsoring this one you guys are legends it really helps and supports the channel and to all of our patrons there's a few new ones so your names will be in this video you guys are awesome for all things switch all the time keep it switch up cheers guys see ya